Greetings, little players. How you doing? Today, you're watching an interviews with Hunter Flournoy. And we're about to interview John and Cody Walker. So sit back and enjoy this show. Hello, little players. The videos you mentioned, my last video is the Pierce Group Winter Drive Car Meet. So right now I'm interviewing John, the guy who owned this car. So how you doing, John? I'm doing great. So when did you get this car after the movie was finished? Uh, it took two and a half years. So before the movie, I wanted it, I got it. Before the movie was done, before it was out on the, out on the street. So, so, so um, it's, it's been a long time. I've had it for about nine years, ten years. <laughs> yeah, and the stunt car. What this, happened this to the, the stunt hero car? car? My brother has a stunt car. Yeah, the Hero One car, which if you guys seen Fast Five, if you go back and watch the movie again, you'll see Paul Walker driving the blue Porsche in a warehouse, preparing for the heist, whatever. You'll see him drifting around the corners, and the camera caught him, which is Han saying, the "Camera caught you." What? Yeah, it still caught you. And I was milking the hell out of that thing too. We're gonna need a faster car. If you click the link in the description of the video, you'll see an interview with Dennis McCarthy with the Porsche. So, tell me about the specs of those cars, uh, John. It's basically a stock car. They just made it to look like a GTRS. It just stickers on the side, but everything else, it's stock. But it runs fun. It's fun to drive, really fast. Um, it handles like great, so it's, it's a good car. So as of 2011, I bought the Fast Five DVD. Mm -hmm. um, I was a little kid. I love that movie. It's my favorite. The, uh, I basically grew up with the Fast and Furious franchise. I usually watched Too Fast, Too Furious for I was two years old in 2003. Wow. <laughs> which is my favorite car in this movie was the Nissan Skyline R34 GTR right. that Paul Walker drove. The car was originally owned by Craig Lieberman, the guy who bought the orange Supra from the first movie, as well as the blue Maxima, which is driven by Matt Schultz of the first movie. So my favorite scene was the the bridge jump, which Brian jumps over Slapjack in the Toyota Supra. And uh, and the scramble scene, which Slapjack is back with the uh, our Supra, is, well, along with the Rex RX-7, driven by the Latino guy, yeah. which is his, the character name is uh, Orange Julius. Right. And my personal favorite song was Pump It Up by Joe Button. It was played during the credits at the CGI with the cars. That kind of reminds me of the animation of Midnight Club 2 and Need for Speed Underground. Need for Speed Underground. Yeah, you got like a beer in your brain there. You just, you know yeah. that stuff. It's great. Yeah, the wise guy man yeah. named uh, Craig Lieberman, which is my mentor. Yeah, yeah. You may know him. He's a yeah, technical he's advisor for fast movies. Yeah. Yeah. He usually basically called me the Cyclopedia. There you go. Yeah, I know about all these cars. I basically know one private collector from overseas. His name is Arjun De Koning. Um, he owns Craig Supra after the movie wrapped up for Fast One. It was bought in 2002. Okay. Yeah, along with the other cars like the Hero 2 Eclipse, which is basically bought, bought uh, purchased by George Ferris. He basically messed up the interior. He added some gauges to the dash. Reminds me of that car from Son of the Mask with Jamie Kennedy, which is terrible but ugly. I basically hate it. Uh, one of my friends from Canada wanted to restore this car to remove the, by removing the gauges. His name is Dom Dub, Dominic Debriel. His name is, he basically is the owner of the Greenback Jesse project, the white Jetta, and the green Eclipse, which is the Hero One Eclipse, which is a replica. It was now bought by our own name, uh, Jorge Acosta. And if you go to the channel with the eclipses on YouTube, it's called Roads Untraveled. Roads Untraveled. He reviewed cars of Canada around the world. And 
that's that. If you want to check them out, link in the description down below and check them out. So I'm basically going to uh, get in the car and show you what the interior looks like. So, Don, do you mind if I get in this car and take a pictures of it? So guys, so here I go. This is the Hero One car Porsche. Let's close this door. If you go with the, the pedals, there is a, an accelerated brake and clutch. And the, as well as the shifter. I don't want to mess with the shifter. There's a lot of stuff here. The passenger seat. So guys, I feel like I was in Fast Five. Where, 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 where'd you get that from? Papa Smart, give me your best shot. As Paul Walker, Brian O'Connor. <laughs> it's basically, I'm basically, I want to drift around the corners. So here's a skit. I will post that for later on IGTV. Okay. So that's that. So how do I get out of this car? There we go. Snoop. Ah. Ooh, my leg. Enjoy that? Sorry yeah. So guys, this was the Hero One car, which is usually appear in Fast Five. So special thanks to John Fast Five GT3. So special thank you to show me your your car, your prized possession. It was a really appreciating meeting you. So guys, just a little heads up. There's a mistake. I didn't get the interview part with Cody Walker and me. I just accidentally stopped the video on my iPhone, obviously on purpose. So next time I'll interview with Cody Walker and Sean Lee at Fuel Fest next year. So looking forward to that. Maybe in Las Vegas, Los Angeles, or Montreal. My request for a Fuel Fest that I just commented on Instagram's post, Fuel Fest, that I just commented Fuel Fest's Instagram post for several hours ago was my request. I give my goal to them. I DM them. So here's the picture I snapshot. So hope you guys have a great day enjoying my Instagram, Twitter, not probably not Twitter, not Facebook just Instagram and YouTube. So have a pleasant, happy, happy holidays and have a safe Christmas. I'll talk to y'all later, maybe for Christmas Eve. Don't forget to subscribe. My social medias links will be in the description down below. So thanks for watching. Please just give it a, please give this video a like and subscribe to this channel.